Hello folks. Well, if you've seen any of my past videos with lighted rotor blades, you saw how I made them. The old way from 35 years ago with chemical lights and a new way with LEDs. Since I fly FAA style lights at night, always have, as it's the standard for full-size planes, I've been accustomed to flying with red on the left and green on the right. It's kind of second nature to me now. Well, some folks ask if it was possible to make the LEDs be red on the left and green on the right on the rotor blades. Well, since the blades and LEDs are constantly moving, the actual only way would be to put a microprocessor on each blade and somehow figure that out, or buy a set of programmable blades that cost hundreds of dollars. So I thought about it and I came up with this sort of solution. So here I'm going to show you how I did it and the drawbacks. Well, first of all, the LilyPad coin battery holders with the switch is one of the best and most compact ways of providing power to the LEDs that I've found. And it makes a nice clean installation on the blades. They only cost $6.95 each and can power several LEDs on one 3 volt battery when wired in parallel. In this case, I used the inexpensive Pro 3D blades which cost $30 for the set of two and quite a bit less expensive than the last set of carbon fiber blades I bought. As you can see, I mounted mine at the blade root with amazing goop and one tiny screw with the battery mounted so the centrifugal force keeps the battery in. I also can use the lily pad to make a complete self-contained LED as I did with this red one. So first of all, in order to be able to see the entire ring, an LED must be placed on the tip, on the leading edge, and on the trailing edge of the blade. In order to keep the LED from sticking out, I used a Dremel and cut a small slot, the width of the LED, into the blade. Next, I clean the blades with Adam's Brilliant Glaze, which cleans oils and etc. off and puts a coat of acrylic down. This allows any tape to really stick well. Well, then I taped on the quarter inch wide bullet face copper window alarm tape from Amazon, which cost $5.95 for 21 yards. The bottom of the blade will be negative and the top will be positive. At the ends of the blade, I put a tape across the leading and trailing edge and soldered the crossover to make a connection as the bottom is adhesive and not conductive. This completes the circuit. I have tried and used over the years plenty of small 26 gauge wires to connect my lights, but no matter what they never come out straight and when the cellophane tape is applied over them they stick up a bit and they don't look really that good. The copper tape is really nice looking. Well next I soldered on the connecting wires to the LEDs using stranded wires as you can see. And then I clipped the sides to make it nice and small. Next I simply glued in the LEDs to the slots. You know I got these rolls of LEDs from nitro planes. Many people sell them. Anyway they come in 12 volt strips but if you clip each one out separately they run quite nicely on the 3 volt battery for quite a long time. Days. At this point I soldered the LED leads to my copper wire. Well next at the root end I soldered the lily pads to the copper strips. They're marked positive and negative so it's pretty easy. Well next I covered the LED slots and any exposed wire with my cellophane tape. This also makes a window and the whole thing lights up nicely and keeps the air flow smoother. I also run cellophane tape along the entire length of the blade over the copper tape to protect it from nicks, etc. Well then I balance the blades. I use black electrical tape to do so, applying it to the lightest blade, making them balance parallel on the blade balancer. Most carbon fiber blades are pre-balanced anyway longitudinally, so nothing usually needs to be done that way as they have lead weights in the blade tips already. Once I put the blades on the helicopter, I mark the root and the blade with white dots so if I have to remove them, I'll know which blade goes on the head at the same way each time. Once the blades are mounted on the helicopter, they've got to be checked for tracking. They both have to fly at the same height. Tracking is usually done in the daylight by putting different color tape on each blade, but it also can be difficult. In order to do so at night, it's way more difficult for sure. So I began thinking about a way to be able to see the left side as red, and the right side is green and so I can actually track the blades. 
My solution was to make the trailing edge of one blade with a red LED. That way it would only be seen when it was going away from me on the left side. This made it really easy to see which blade was higher and real easy to track the blades. My rule of thumb for tracking blades is to always raise the lower blade to meet the same plane as the higher one. That way they are both flying the same altitude. So here's how it looks with the red LED. The problem is that it doesn't help with orientation at all unless you're simply hovering with tail in. Because no matter where the helicopter or orientation is, the red LED remains on the left. So it doesn't help at all when you're coming at you. I personally like the total green light, so I took the red LED out and replaced it with a green one after I got the blades tracked. Here you can see the difference as I fly it both ways. Okay, the red one is slightly high. You can see on the left side there, red is left. Oh, I need to raise the green one. Red one is high, so this one needs to be raised, so I need to screw this in. I'll screw it in one turn. Let's see how this does. Tracking perfectly. As you can see, the red LED makes it look like the rotor blades are pulsing. I don't like that as much, and it's not helping with the orientation at all. You know, my orientation is based on watching the nose and the skid lights. You're going to see the difference in a minute when I fly it with just green LEDs on the rotor blades. I'm now mounting LEDs on the blades of some of my smaller electric LEDs to see how that goes. Well thanks a lot for watching and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe so you would get notified when I make more videos like this. Happy flying and happy night flying.